Okay guys, so a couple months ago I made this 3D printed RC Rover car. Which was powered by servos. And after I made it, um, the servos were never really powerful enough to keep it going. But um, I came across this, which doesn't really look like anything yet. And it's going to be a FPV 3D printed RC tank. Um, and I've 3D printed all the parts, you can see that now. Okay guys, so as you can see I've kind of I've got it pretty much done. All the tracks are sorted out. Um they've only got some problems where they occasionally keep on slipping off the the tracks. Um but I mean, you know, that's what will happen. I've got the little one S battery in there for my receiver, it's a very tight fit. I still got this little micro FPV camera to fit in there and it'll stick out the front on that little hole down there. Um I've got the lid here as well and that just about fits on. Um, I'll show you it driving now. So I've got my controller here. Stop moving. And backwards. So um, that kind of works quite well. Actually, but some of the gears do slip. Um, you can't really turn it at the same time as going forward.
Okay, so now that is all working, I've got everything um pretty much ready. Um, I've got some zip ties. So I've just got a zip tie, but I'm gonna kind of make sure all the wires are nice and tight. I've removed the cover from the receiver because it's really hard to fit it in. Um, in this, and I've got the FPV camera here. Um, soldered the connectors onto it. Um, made it a bit longer because I can't really fit it. The battery should just fit like, snug down there. Um, and then receiver will go on top, and the FPV camera will stick up there. Um, and basically that's pretty much it. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. Got the little FPV camera at the front. Um, if I can get inside, everything's quite crammed in, but um, it all works well. There is some issues with the track slipping off the wheels, um, but you know that can be solved. I just 3D printed some little things to kind of make the tracks a bit more tight. Um, it kind of works. I don't know, but um, I'll give the links to the files in Thingiverse. Thanks to the guy who made it. Um, you can download all of them there. Give the links to all the parts that you need to buy, like the camera and the radio and stuff like that. But um, yeah, I'm really happy with how it works. It's quite slow, but um, it's a fun little project you can do. Just drive it around the desk or something with FPV. But um, yeah, I think apart from that, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, remember to subscribe. I think next video might be a review on the Mobula 6 because I'm hopefully getting that and probably the Ishii Incessional. But apart from that guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.